Like this, like right here, I couldn't do this kind of when I started. You ever find yourself long car ride sitting at the movie theater and your knee starts aching? There's different kinds of knee pain. Some of them, something is loose. Other times, it's because things are too stiff. So if you're in a position, say you're in a car ride a very long time, it's a stiffening effect, right? So we're gonna break that down and this is gonna look scary, but I'm gonna show you how this breaks down. And this left knee, and in fact, one of the only reasons I'm a decent knee trainer is that this one has a partially artificial kneecap. If you look in close, you can see like this one looks normal. And then this just has like this, see that like jutting mass? It's some kind of artificial substance. So this was, according to doctors and the surgeries I had, this was never supposed to fully bend again. So not only does it fully bend, but it has actually pretty world-class mobility. Now this is just the, con the control. Let's look here at the range. And what's cool is I'm strong in that range. You see that? So this is actually pretty world-class level of knee range and strength. And for me, it used to be so bad in car rides, I would have to get my leg like up on something. It would just hurt too bad, okay? This is not just a party trick. So check this out. The first level of this is actually just working your strength. So Mark, you see how this is like a super deep position, even deeper than we did like split squats? I'm actually just trying to get those VMOs. So it, it hits a really deep position where it's under stretch. Now, if we never work a muscle under stretch, we can't create fullest lengthening, meaning things like Romanian deadlifts, Nordics, where you're actually going under stretch, that's proven four times less chance of hamstring injury, but we don't have any studies like that for the quads. So just being, a, just strengthening out, and you can go right here. To be really clear though, you wanna put in a base before you start doing this stuff. So I just wanna be really clear on that point. I've showed every base so far. So I actually, in every one of these videos, I've already laid out the base, okay? There's nothing from the base that I haven't laid out. So think of this as the cherry on top that stops giving you those aches, that you stop tightening back up, that you stop playing and then the next day it like hurts, right? So, so basically through loosening of the quad, you know, this is sort yep. of acting and as a stretch. Exactly. And, and then this also is just getting, one. getting right. that kind of, uh, that, that range of motion can help exactly. alleviate some of that stiffness. In exactly. Now that's just level one, then, now you start reaching back. So this could go just to your hands and then up, right? And you could go from hands to elbows. And if you have something, this is what's really cool, is you just, you just now go here, boom. And now you're actually, so you're right back in this position. So it's reach, so this is, this is measurable. And then as you get, well, you see these are really tight, but you could, <laughs> yeah, All right. So now you go here, boom. And now, curl up. So this is still working on level. So this is level two. Now level three, you actually elevate your own feet. Now, you're able to do exactly what I was doing in the freaky position, but we're manipulating gravity. So now we're really stretching through all those quads. Going through these exercises. We know with science that you can work through a two or a three. The best indicator though, is as you do it, is that it's no pain. Believe it or not from this, you may stand up and be walking like a newborn. Like you don't really, because we've never taint. Look how deep this is. This is like a like an eight year old, like Swedish Olympic I've, weightlifter or something. Been that position. <laughs> yeah. So get up like a baby giraffe. Right. So in level three, we are now trying to squeeze the glute and reach back, but with the feet elevated. Then, then in level four, now you actually just handle your own weight. But notice too, even right there, like that's, like that's some tension over time. So this is an adaptation effect that every time I do this, it puts more money in the bank for actually creating length. Creating length was needed to handle, you know, I don't know why I don't feel this now when it bends, I should feel it. It's not medically, this is not supposed to fully bend. I've had to create excess length. So anyways, I hope that helps. So maybe three it's four times. levels. Let's see what it looks like when I... Believe it or not, believe, believe it or not, you'll be, you'll be surprised to find that a lot of this stuff, I actually like once a week. Okay. Now... Do you like the feet to be this way? Uh, they're gonna be this way. That way. And, and right now, Mark's ankles might be on fire, but guess what, again, he's actually loading. So right now, use, use your hands. Use your hands and, and 
Yep, yep, bend your hips. Yep, use your hands and just reach awesome. and try to think. But then it's almost like doing a natural leg extension. You see that? So out of the bottom, right. think with those VMOs. You see that? It's uh, super <laughs> passive, but it is taking me to a position that I normally don't get to, you know, and if I come right. back here, it's getting a little uncomfortable on my feet. It's like stretching out my yeah. shins a little bit. You're gonna feel a massive stretch. Uh, but nothing's hurt, like that doesn't hurt at all. And yeah. I can kind of be in here. So if you actually just did this a while, you would actually start to feel real deep in the VMO it hitting. And should, should I be flexing a little bit with the quad, like pushing into the ground a bit? Or yeah, kind of like, yeah, exactly. This is just a human, so it's not a, it's not a leg extension, it's like a human leg extension. Right. Yeah, that feels, that feels pretty good. And it's kind of yeah, look, around. that's this is actually better. Look, you're doing it no hands. Like this, like right here, I couldn't do this kind of shit when I started. I feel it a lot through my, like it's kind of opening up the hip. Exactly, yeah. Stretching the This quad. is gonna be big for your left hip as well. Yeah. Yeah. But I can't stress enough, believe it or not, once a week. That Don't do it more than once a week, but make it a lifestyle once a week. Let the little gains add up. I love it. I, I've had pain in my knee for, for quite some time and sitting in the movie theater is one of those things that kills or going on a trip, uh, going up to like Tahoe or when I drive to Bodega Bay, those are both about two hours away. And when I'm on that drive, you know, it. It's, it's such an annoying pain that it feels like someone's jabbing a fork in there. And I'm like, yeah. what can I do about this? So I'm glad that you, yeah. uh, I'm glad we had the opportunity for me to learn some of this and some of the other knee stuff. Yeah. Guys, this is a knees over toes guy. This is some serious shit that we're learning over here. Strength is never a weakness. Weakness is never a strength. Catch you guys later. Give the camera a good old punch.